everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. We got today as an unboxing video. Um, this is actually my third time filming this video, but pe people keep getting in the way and interrupting me and screwing everything up. So, you won't see me actually unboxing the actual box because, you know, that's over and done with. But what I'm unboxing are uh, an American Werewolf in London, the Arrow New Limited Edition, as well as Amityville the Cursed Collection by Vinegar Syndrome. Start off with American Werewolf. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. This movie is perfect, complete S class film. You can't go wrong. If anyone says that American Werewolf is a bad movie, um, they're wrong and they need to be dealt with quickly and harshly. <laughs> so first up we'll start with the box itself. Nice hard chip box. Um, there's the front, and the spine, and the back. Don't have anything on the top or the bottom, but you know. And I know this is a, a J card. I'm not sure if there's anything behind it. I don't think so, but you know, is what it is. Uh, and we got the book. I love these booklets. I mean, I've never read a single one of them, but I love the fact that they put them in. I love the fact that they go to the trouble of printing up a book you know, just for, like, a Blu-ray release. It's awesome. You can never go wrong. Next, we got a poster. This contains both the new artwork as well as the original artwork. Um, first up, the new artwork. I love that artwork. And then the original theatrical art. I always thought that looked like a cat. You know, I always thought that was kind of weird. So I'll be framing the, the new artwork. Now we're on to the actual release itself. There's the front, same as the, the box, the back, and the thing. Open it up. We have here two um, American Werewolf lobby cards. Those are kind of cool. Very neat. Oh, no, actually, there's more than two. Here's a, a ton of them. Uh, there's another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. As well as uh, an ad for apparently something called Dream Demon. And, you know, just the arrow thing on the back there. Then we have um, just the disc, which has the... Uh, old VHS art and uh, DVD art as well as a reversible cover which also has that artwork on it. That's the artwork I know from uh, you know from over the years but I'm really digging this new this new artwork. Who did this art? Let's see if it says uh, I can't see right away. I hear reversible art Graham Humphreys, and uh, he does some some good artwork. And honestly, this this is no exception. It's great. It fits the movie to a T. Uh, what the hell? Oh, that's why one of those is bigger. <laughs> so get those in and that, and there we go. So yeah, I'm really happy about that one. This is a movie, like I said, all time favorite. You can't go wrong with it. And this is probably, what, my eighth time buying this movie in one format or another. Um, I've gone through pretty much every format. I've had the VHS, the DVD, the Blu-rays. Different versions of the Blu-rays is what it is. So now we go to the Amityville, the Cursed Collection. So there we go. There's the back. There's the front. One spine. The other spine. Top bottom. This is one of these cool boxes that segment which I really kind of dig and here are the movies themselves. So I'm, I'll open them up one by one and we'll go through them. I don't have many Vinegar Syndrome releases. This is my first one that I've ever actually like gone out of my way to buy. Um, I have uh, Christmas Evil which my buddy Will got me that copy and um, I have uh, Jack Frost, which came in uh, 
horror pack, but that that's kind of it. So first up, we have Amityville the Evil Escapes. This is one of those movies, it's, it's not great, but this was the first movie I ever actively ordered on VHS from a video store. I actually went into a video store and purposely ordered The Evil Escape. So it always has a bit of a soft spot in my heart, you know? So here's the disc artwork. Same as the, the new artwork. And the other side is the original like VHS and DVD artwork and everything. Yeah, I've always had a bit of a soft spot for this movie, just be, just for that, you know, just for the nostalgia of the fact that, you know, it was the first movie I ever ordered. Next, we have Amityville 1992, It's About Time. I actually have this on VHS as well, I found it the other day for uh, like a buck. So for that, I wasn't going to leave it there, that's for certain. And uh, so there we go. Amityville 1992 about time. This is by the guy that did um, Hellraiser 2 and I've always kind of dug him as a director so you know there's the artwork and here's the reversible artwork which really is it's essentially the same as the the old artwork just sl laid out slightly different. You know still cool. Because, I mean, hell, it's Amityville. The, these are movies, I get why there's a box set of this, but honestly, I, I don't get why um, each one has its own disc. I mean, honestly, you could have fit, you could have done like a, a two, a two disc release and have two movies on, on each disc. Um, and really, it would have been enough for these, because like, none of them are, are really good. Um... Don't get me wrong, some some are pretty solid, but, you know, they still kind of are a little iffy, to say the least. Next is Amityville, A New Generation. There's the front, the spine, and the back. This is one, I'm sure I've seen this, but I can't remember it for the life of me. There's the disc art. And here's the reverse cover art, which again is just kind of a uh, reverse. And there's the original. You see, it's just kind of a slightly modified version of the original. Um, I actually like the. I think I kind of like the the new art a bit better for that one, just because it matches all the others. And last up, we have Amityville Dollhouse. This one. I know I've seen this one, and I know I didn't particularly like it, because this one goes completely, you know, awry. So, Amityville Dollhouse, there you go. There's the spine on the back. Then we got... Come here. Come here. The disc art. And... The original art. I again, I prefer the the new art to that. Uh, it just looks kind of iffy. I'll be glad to give these another shot because um, it's been years since I've seen a lot of them. But like I said, I you, you don't get these movies expecting anything great. You know, they're uh, they're, they're not the greatest. But, I still intend to have a good time watching them. So yeah, that's uh, that's the unboxing after three tries. I finally got it done. Um, good buys here, definitely. And, both of these are releases I would definitely recommend picking up. Uh, especially American Werewolf, because that's a known quality, quantity, you know. But this is, hell, it's Vinegar Syndrome, it's a box set, you can't really go wrong. So yeah, there you go. But uh, that's it for now, see you next time.